Hi everyone, I hope you're well. I've literally come back from the biggest carb fest ever of a brunch, which maybe wasn't the best idea before filming a try and haul video, but I've been doing quite a lot of spending on Topshop recently. I kind of went through a period of not buying anything from Topshop and then ever since I keep on going on the site weekly for the new in which probably isn't a good idea and I'm seeing things that I love. I'm loving Topshop more than I'm loving ASOS at the moment and that's saying something. I looked for a dress on ASOS the other night, went through 3,000 dresses, didn't really find one that I liked, ended up with one in Zara but that is going off tangent. Today I'm doing a Topshop haul because as I said I'm literally loving everything from Topshop at the moment and it's not very good for my bank account. But I have a few pieces here that I did in my last order. I have not tried them on yet, so I thought I will talk you through them all first and then I will go and try them all on afterwards. So if you're only interested in seeing the items on and I'll also talk a bit about how they fit while I'm trying them on, I will leave the minutes in the description bar below of what to skip to to go straight to that if that's all you're interested in. And before I start, actually, this is from anybody who wants to know from my latest Pull and Bear haul. It is a track top. I'm literally obsessed with this too. Sports looks oversized and I love it. But anyway, onto the haul after the longest intro ever. The first item that I went for is a black blazer but it's a little bit different because we've got frill sleeves and some lace up detailing at the side, two huge trends for spring summer. This was £55, I sized up to a size 12 just because Topshop sizes can be a bit on the smaller side and also I like my blazers a bit more oversized rather than fitted. The next is a floral dress and I really love the fact that these pink flowers, because I'm loving pink, are on a black background. I'm not usually a floral person but I've been after a dress that I can get away with for day wear so it is a kind of mini maxi dress, something that I can wear to christenings and maybe summer spring weddings and also that I can take on holiday. So I wanted a multifunctional dress and I pretty much think that I found it and this was £39 again, which I think is really affordable for a multifunctional dress. I will wear it with trainers, I will wear it with sandals, I will wear it with heels. I will basically wear the shit out of this dress. Next I have three pairs of black jeans and trousers to show you. And the first pair, I've actually worn these. They are a pair of mum style jeans, they're motto jeans, so I'm size 10. I got them in a waist 28 length. 32, just standard black jeans but then they've got this really cool cut out detailing here, you can see there. And I just thought it was something a little bit extra to the jeans and these are so comfortable, they're a really good fit so a big thumbs up for these. I can't remember the price but I think they were under 40 or under 50 pounds but everything will be linked in the description bar below as always. Then I have two pairs that are pretty similar. The first is denim jeans and they are the Jamie jeans, so Topshop skinny jeans, waist 28 again. These were £49, they're high waist ankle grazers, but if it's picking up on camera, they've got lace up detailing all the way up the side of the legs and that's what really drew me to these. So this is the first pair and the similar pair that I have to these but I have ordered two sizes. I've ordered a size 28 and a size 30 just purely because they are vinyl PVC trousers and they tend to have less give in them so I thought I might need to size up but we'll see when I try them on. And these are the Jamie jeans again, high waist ankle grazers. These were £65 though and they're basically exactly the same but they have got the lace up detail and down the side but they are PVC vinyl. I'm actually going out with my friend tonight so I was hoping I would fit into a pair of these. I've got two pairs like I said and I would like them. They're like very dominatrix but also really high fashionable and chic as well. I do have a pair of patent PVC trousers from Zara. I got them sale, but I may have ripped the crotch slightly because as I said they don't have too much given them so I might have to size up but we'll see when I try these on which ones fit the best. Then the last two items I have in my Topshop haul are pairs of shoes. Now the first pair, I actually already have these in the black but I saw them in the pink and I swooned over them and it is their Novel Novel, Novel, whichever way you say it, mules. These are real leather, they are £56, which I think is a real affordable price for real leather shoes. They've got a block heel that's not ridiculously high, so they're great for everyday wear. I already have two pairs of pink mules that you 
will have seen in my spring trends video. If you've not seen that, I'll leave it in the description bar on the screen. But as these ones are leather and they are a baby pink, I might have got these ones as well. But also, in Topshop shoes, I'm a size nine. I'm always normally size eight, but I do find their shoes come up on the smaller side. But they only seem to have a couple of pairs of shoes in a size nine, so I have to try and get the shoes from new in when I can. So these were new in, which is why I bought them. Uh, the black meals that I have are actually an eight. They're really comfortable, but they just fit. So if these fit better, I could be tempted to list my other ones on Depop, just purely because I'm a bit conscious they're slightly a bit big, but I'm going off tangent again. But that was the first pair of shoes. And the second pair of shoes is an item that's come back in stock. I think they do them in three or four different colours. And they are these slingback shoes. Again, real leather. We've got a small heel. I wouldn't really say it's a kitten heel. Obviously, kitten heels are in. It's a bit more of a chunky kitten heel. It's very structured, really nice pointy toe, really soft leather. Again, there's something really 80s about this pair of shoes. But because they're not very high, I feel they'd be great for everyday wear with jeans or with your summer dresses. And also, I think these will look killer with those PVC pants. And these ones were £59. So, top shop leather shoes I really do rate. But unfortunately for big footed people like me, you have less choice. So now I am going to go away and I'm going to try all these on so you will see what they look like. Brody has decided to come and help me for this video, so excuse the dog for looking around in the background, but for my first outfit I put on the floral dress and I'm wearing this with my Balenciaga trainers because I like how the pink in the trainers picks up in the dress. Um, I already have the trainers on, so I just thought I'd leave them on. It feels comfortable, it doesn't feel tight anywhere. I would say it does feel quite big around the chest area. This is a size 10. Um, I'm like a size A bust, so I'm quite small in the chest anyway. But we've got a little belt here, so you can tie it in. And we've got a lovely leg slit here, which I think is really nice. It's just the perfect length for holidays, for christenings, for weddings. Um, it's a nice little cover up, but like I said, there's a little sexy hint there. And we've got some double strappage going on, so I really like this. I'm loving how versatile it is, and for winter, I could probably just pop on a polo neck underneath and some tights with some boots or leave the tights wear over the knee boots. So I might be able to transition this into the next season as well. Now I have got on the Monfit jeans, like I said, they're really nice. They're so comfy, and we've got the cutout detailing at the bottom. I just popped on a future belt with these because I like to wear belts for my jeans, and I have a pull and bear corset top on from my haul last week. And I have paired it with the pink yours, and these are just so comfy. And um, like I said, I've got the black ones in a size eight. They are really comfy as well, but they're just a little bit too small. So with these being a size nine, there's a little bit more room in them, and. They just feel perfect so absolutely recommend these to anybody they also do them in um, black in zebra print and i think they have a different couple styles but i will leave the novel shoes link below obviously with everything else that i'm wearing now i've got on the jamie lace up jeans i've just paired them with the mules again and then also just my pull and bear sports top because i like wearing skinny trousers with a longer top that covers your bum, but these are a really nice fit. They are the size 28, so a size 10, and that is my usual size. And as you can see, we've got sort of the split detailing down the sides, which I think is a really nice addition. They do feel a little bit tight across the knees, but I'm sure I could probably loosen the lacing at the sides. But yeah, really like these, really good fit. So really impressed. Hopefully they would keep their colour quite well too. And lastly, I have on the frilled sleeve blazer with the PVC trousers with the black shoes. And as I guessed, the PVC trousers, this is a size 30, but they are kind of big and baggy and loose around here on the bum, but tight everywhere else. And I couldn't fit it to the size 28, so unfortunately, they're no good for me. I just don't really mix well with vinyl and my body shape, but other than that, if they did fit, I would love them. Uh, the blazer, on the other hand, I love. I'm loving the flared sleeve detail because I love the whole flared sleeve trend. And obviously we've got the lace up trend, so we've got two trends in one. I'm glad that I went a size up. I think it fits perfectly on the shoulders and it's just a really nice fit. I can dress it up or I could dress it down. And then for the shoes, I thought at first they might be a little bit tight. I've got quite wide feet, but 
wearing them for you know a couple of minutes walking around the room I feel like my feet are sort of molded into them really well I love the little triangle shape that they create at the front so I think I'll definitely be keeping the blazer and the shoes so that's it for this Topshop haul I do have many other Topshop items that I could have included because I'm just loving it so much at the moment from the previous things I've been, been buying on like a bi-weekly basis so I'm gonna have to nip that in the bud a little bit but yeah if you're looking for some new spring summer additions to a wardrobe then I highly recommend Topshop for me they are just killing it over ASOS at the moment but I mean my mind could change in the next couple of months when I'm looking for holiday clothes so sorry it's been another haul video I am sort of trying to switch up my wardrobe lately at the moment and I am meaning to list things on Depop so follow me at Lockdown Loves there as well for any items I might be um, selling while I'm sorting through my wardrobe I just need to find the time but I hope you're enjoying watching these fashion videos if you're new I would love if you joined my little YouTube family I've got here and click the subscribe button below as always if you're an existing subscriber thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video next Sunday